What is going on everybody? Big day, this is a huge day uh, in this build. The engine is going back in today. Yesterday I was here with a buddy of mine and we did a few things off camera. We were just trying to grind it out. I didn't want to start recording, doing all that stuff. I wanted to take advantage of my buddy being here and uh, just get as much done as I could because I am falling a bit behind. It's, you know, middle of April and uh, the motor's not even in yet and the weather's getting nicer outside. So basically what we did yesterday was we did the oil pan. I switched my NA oil pan to a twin turbo oil pan. We did the rear main seal. We installed the uh, twin turbo flywheel. We did the clutch, the new clutch from Z1 Motorsports and the pressure plate. So that's all on. The engine is off the stand and it's on the uh, the engine hoist, ready to go back in. We were gonna just mount up the transmission to it yesterday and just send it, but it was getting kind of late and I'm tired and I didn't want to open a whole new can of worms. I thought we'd take it, uh, you know, at the beginning of a fresh day. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just waiting for him to come over here and then uh, we're gonna grind it out. I'll, I'll mount up the camera, get some footage for you guys. I was dropping the engine in and then it's just assembly from there. So uh, let me show you what it looks like right now. So here's the engine. I put my uh, powder coated plenum back on there. Just a little sneak peek for you guys. Uh, you can't see the whole thing right now, obviously, but once I get it in the car, um, I'll show you how that looks but look how sweet this looks guys everything's done i got my coolant hoses routed up and everything uh there's the there's a the new clutch pressure plate all that good stuff and the transmission's over here this is all ready to go it's been all grinded down where it needs to be and everything everything is good in here so we're gonna get this mounted up to that and then drop it in that car right there I'm just gonna get everything a little situated before my buddy shows up so I'm not wasting time. I'm gonna heat wrap the down pipes so we can put those on as well before dropping the engine in and uh, get the engine bay a little prepped up and put my uh, fender covers and stuff on there before he gets here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> She's going in. After four months. Holy crap, boys. The engine is in. And so is the tranny. Both went in at the same time. What a pain in the ass this was. Holy crap. It took us way too long to get this in. I was hitting a little bit of the strut tower here. Uh, I can touch that up, ruin my paint a little bit. And also back here. We had to lower the whole subframe. I had to do that when I was pulling just the motor out as well. And had to do it even when I was putting the tranny and the motor in at the same time. I don't know why. It was hitting the firewall, the oil pan was hitting the subframe. So I had to remove it. I have no idea how anyone does this without lowering the subframe. One way or another it's in. Hopefully I don't have to pull this thing out again. And this thing just runs smooth. The tranny mount bolts are on. Now I'm just gonna go snug up all of the nuts and bolts for the subframe, cause they were all loose. Then I'm gonna start on the intercooler piping. Let's go. So now we're on the assembly part of things. And basically I'm just trying to put everything together. Uh, first thing I wanted to do was uh, pretty much get this intercooler piping in because that is, I feel like gonna be the hardest part cause uh, this is 2.5 inch upgraded intercooler piping. So I mocked it all up. I got my accordion hoses here uh, for the intakes and uh, those are in uh, and I clamped them already. And now, now I just mocked up my intercooler piping. So everything's where it should be. Um, I believe this is the uh, coupler that's gonna connect these two. And then I have this coupler here, which is gonna go from here to the throttle body. I just don't have my throttle bodies on right now. So I didn't put that on. Uh, same thing with the other side. So all the piping is pretty much done. I'm just going back in now to tighten things up. So I had to do a couple things. I took out my AC lines right now. Uh, I have my uh, receiver dryer still here, but um, I took out my AC line that was over here because I want to just get my 
piping situated first and then I'm gonna put the AC lines in and try to bend them and make them work. I'm gonna try keeping my NA lines and just bending them enough to make it work. We'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work out, then I'll get uh, uh, twin turbo AC lines, but I am gonna try bending my NA ones first. But uh, pretty much what I did, so I have the regular Z1 side mount intercoolers, not the BA ones, like the big ones. They have a 1.75 inch opening here for the stock intercooler piping. So I had to kind of get an adapter to make it work with the coupler. Uh, here because this coupler is obviously 2.5 inch uh, same thing on the other side uh, I'll show you what I, I had to kind of come up with a little thing um, to make it work on the, on the inner side here of the intercoolers but on this other side basically what I did was I just used a uh, adapter coupler so this one's 1.75 to 2.5 and then I just carried it on from there so for the back it worked great i did the exact same thing on both sides but for the front i had to do it a little differently i couldn't make it work with the that adapter i had on the other side so i'll show you guys in a second what i do for that piping is all in see from here it goes in through that and then it comes up through there like that and it'll go right there, same thing on this side. So honestly, this intercooler piping was not that bad. I think uh, people kind of hate on it quite a bit. Believe me, I am not a fan of Z1 Motorsports by any stretch of the imagination. I've had my issues with them, but their intercooler piping is top notch. So good price point compared to Specialty Z. The price point was good. There was instructions online. Honestly, intercooler piping took me half an hour. Now I'm just going back in and clamping it all. Like I started clamping it from back here first. As you can see, um, I'm gonna clamp it all in, but pretty big fan of this piping so far. Worked out great. So I'm just gonna keep, keep at it. I'm not gonna bore you guys putting everything back together. I'll touch base with you guys in a bit. So here's what I'm doing basically for this side of the intercooler. Let me see if I can get you guys a better look. So right there, I have a adapter going from 1.75 inch to 2.5 inch and then it goes right to a 2.5 inch coupler that goes to this pipe right here. So I have to do the exact same thing on this side. So the way I attach these two ends right here, which are both 2.5 inch is with this. So I went to a hardware store. I, I purchased a piece of uh, exhaust pipe. It's 2.5 inch exhaust pipe. It was uh, about six inches long. I cut it in half. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this adapter go on it about halfway like this and then on this side i'll have this coupler go halfway on there this will be in the middle i'll just put two clamps to put it together and that's how i got it okay so i think this is where i'll end off this video today it's going to be mostly just putting everything back together now I'm not going to make a video of me doing that. It's going to be pretty boring content for that part. But the so next video that I post, this thing will be ready to turn on. So look out for that one. That's going to be a huge moment. I can't wait to hear this thing running, man. You guys don't understand. It's been so much work. But look at my color scheme here while we're at it. The black and silver is going to look so good. I know it looks like a mess right now, but trust me, this thing is gonna really come together once it's all buttoned up and cleaned up. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. The next one's gonna be a good one, man. I cannot wait. I can't wait to get this thing on the road. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.